back at it again, baby! Yes! What is up, everybody? Hello! Welcome to today's review. We've got a different one, and by different one, I mean is I have not actually got to review this line, and uh, since I've gotten Nobara in, I thought it would be almost offensive, I would say, to, to review her before I knocked out the rest of the line. With that being said, if you want to, or actually we have an ongoing poll that is going to be active for a little bit here uh, to let you get to choose who is going to be reviewed next after this. Do we go, do we keep on going on with the Jujutsu? Do we go to Gojo Satoru? Or uh, are we knocking out a Dragon Ball SH Figure Arts line for Dodoria or a Kong Studios of Kong Vegeta. And lastly, we've got a Buzz Mod Zenetsu uh, sitting in the back there as well, which would lead to a Ringoku oh my! Uh, review there. So I either either way this goes, it's all up to you. I'm I'm excited nonetheless, but I needed to knock out Yuji Itadori from Jujutsu. Kaisen, one of my new favorite animes. Like, it's so good. I'm not gonna go into, like, you know, if you're watching the review, I feel like you know who the character is, but if you haven't watched this show, please do. It's really good. It's basically Ghostbuster Naruto. <laughs> it's what it is. I'm kidding. It's really, it's got more, it's got more details than that, but it does, it, there's, there's some similarities. You get a Team 7 vibe, all, all of that. But Yuji Itadori looking great in the box here. As far as I know, there is not any type of bootleg or anything out there but just in case in the future want to let you know what you're looking for on the boxes to make it official you've got bandai tamashii nations the jujutsu logo and then the tamashii nations quality sticker seal of approval it is a slimmer box so uh it's not as big as the sh figure arts from dragon ball line so i think i like it i do i think it uh fits more so with the characters and you got a, a nice uh different art style on there as well and then you've got sakuna looking on there for the product shots over here you've got that and then over here you've got some ooh look at the hand but also look at that scarf huh <laughs> who would have known and then just a little bit of a preview of the product shots right there so yuji itadori Let's go ahead and get you out of the box. And there he is, Yuji Itadori, out of the box. And he's not coming with a lot, but I think he comes out with, uh, honestly, just what he needs, really. You've got three interchangeable face plates, one of them being a Sakuna. Uh, you've also got a uh, powered up hair that's going to show off more of the curse marks. And you've got a data or a hand, uh, excuse me, sorry, a Sakuna hand that he's talking to right there. All, always one of the creepiest things that you could ever show. You've got two divergent fist effects, and then you've got two pairs of interchangeable hands down there as well. So not a lot, honestly. I think he ran around $59.99, $59 dollars there, and I believe you can still get them for retail, even though this is once again a year later. One day, one day. But I'm I'm so looking forward to this because I've heard these figures are higher, and also Figma's starting to step into this ring as well. So I need to have some type of like. Are you going to be as good? Are the articulations going to just put Figma out of the running completely? I'm a little uh, off-putted on, is that a word? Off-putted, off-putting, off, off, off. The faces are off-putting, let's say that. Um, and that's that's just how I feel. Hopefully, once I get them out of the box and actually get to you know move around with them, uh, it'll change my thoughts on that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this review. And for articulation, for Yuji Itadori, can look up about that much, which is pretty nice. Look down about that much with the combination of the neck peg. You can also kind of like have him put his head out 
of his little hoodie thing, so that's cool. I do like that. Uh, can tilt like so, and then tilt like yes, all the way around. Very, very nice range of motion, if I'm being honest there. So that's really impressive. The wingspan is just ridiculous. What are you doing, Yuji? I don't know why you would need to do that, but I'm glad that you can. I really am. Uh, now, I've noticed that he doesn't really have like a bicep swivel per se right here, but like, like, like right here, but he does have a bicep swivel movement and it's the ball joint within this arm right there and it can move all the way like so. So it, it's got a good range of motion. It doesn't move all the way around, but it, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Now, double jointed arms like so. Uh, of course, the Tomashi Nation's tried and true ball joint within the wrist. You got the ab crunch right there. Now, uh, looking at that right there, that is a very, very impressive butterfly joint, I would say so. Like, look at that. It's a good punch. Uh, that's, a, that's a good punch. I don't know why you're looking at your arm like that, but it's a good punch. Uh, so, uh, in limbo style, like, oh, okay, okay, Yuji. It's probably because of dancing class. It's, it's, it, it's gotta be the dancing class. Now, going down to the legs here, uh, can split like so, like, ooh, okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Now, as far as his kick here, you, you, you have to... That's, that's what you're gonna get, which isn't bad by any means, don't get me wrong, but uh, you've got this little soft plastic right here that is hindering it just enough to make it like, okay, wh what would happen if the soft plastic wasn't there? And if you push it a little further there, that's really what you're gonna get there. Of course he can do a gymnastic split if you want him to do so. Uh, it does have the thigh cut which he can swivel around like so. Uh, double jointed knees which are very impressive like okay UG. Look at that. Very very nice. Uh, the pants look really good as well. Now I don't notice any type of like like uh, calf uh, joints or anything like that but I do show that the, the shoes move them all the way around and does have a very Look at that, ooh, very. I don't know, were you playing basketball, breaking breaking that ankle rocker right there? And then, of course, you know it, I know it. Toe pivot action. Yes, that's that's what we're getting. So, Yuji Itadori, articulation. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm, I am, I am thoroughly impressed. I would say the only thing you could have did better was the legs, but, no, no, I, I'll take it. I will take it. Articulation! <laughs> and full paint apps and sculpting for Yuji Itadori. Uh, looking really good. Everything is stark, crisp, clean colors. That is, uh, that is what we have come to expect from Tamashi, so I will not go into any type of harping <laughs> about it. Now, I will say, though, the, the little button, the little, uh, sorcerer button right there looks good doesn't have the emblem on it uh, everything looks really good though like it does look like a just a Tokyo prefecture um, school uniform really with uh, honestly with uh, just a red uh, hoodie on the back there so everything looks fine uh, sculpting looks good now as far as like what's going on with the actual figure though like uh, yes normally we go into it and we're like okay this is that uh, since we have got a new figure line here, not new figure line, but a figure line for SH Fig Arts Jujutsu uh, line, I wanted to show off that this right here, this is all soft plastic. This has, like that, that right there is where, where the soft plastic stops. So you get the, the upper torso, hard plastic, soft plastic on the bottom there. I think that actually really helps it out there. So that is nice. The rest of it is hard plastic. So we're not going to go into a full detail on it. Um, now also the, the hoodie, hoodie, hard plastic. So don't, don't try to, don't you just try to push it. It's not going to happen. Uh, crotch shot pants that's 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 what we got here the pants do look really good the knees are like all of it looks good in the sense of there is no different 
shading or color when it comes to the, the like the the division on the plastic there so that's good the knees on the back are a little shiny but nothing like super crazy or anything and you go down here to those awesome i don't know are these jordans like did did ug get some jordans here and uh really just wear them to that i don't know i like it i'm I'm happy for them, so that's really cool. Also, did want to point out one other thing here. So, see this right here, that little red sleeve? And uh, that's that's clearly indicating that he's got like a red undershirt on there. Watch this. Did you, did you see that? See that? Look, look, look at it. The red is moving. So, there's actually like a little ring that's under there th that actually goes within the ball joint there so it won't come out so don't 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 fret but cool i like it i like it so paint accent sculpting pretty basic but i would say good for what it, it needs to be yeah and for accessories for itadori you know who it is uh look at it looking really nice the lining on here so this is where i was like i'm not sure if i'm okay with the faceplate Looking at it up close. Okay. Okay, sure. I'll 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 take a bite. I'll take a gander here. Now, the white part in the eyes looks great. You've got the gray part in the sclera giving it a little bit of shading, a little bit of definition. The irises look really good. You even got a tiny Tiny Michael Bay lens flare. You got these little Itadori cuts right there. Also, where Sakuna comes out and just like <laughs> uh, sort of thing. And uh, what, what, what is that? Everything else. Eyebrows looking good. The hair looks really good. I do like that they. Ooh, goodness! Put your face back on, boy. There you go. Goodness, I was about to say, don't, no, wow, wow, his face is coming off there. Uh, so, I like the fact that they actually put the black part or the darker part under the, the hair there. And then the mouth, the mouth looks fine. The nose looks honestly accurate. Very accurate, very perfect. I love, love that. And the mouth is, it's there, it's fine, sure, I'll take it. Honestly, I think this is the one that I was looking at online, I was like, ah! Not too sure I like that faceplate, but okay, it's fine. Sure, it, honestly, I would have taken a different faceplate. Give me, I don't know, give me some teeth, like, or uh, give me like a ridiculous uh, UG face there because we know for a fact that this boy is crazy and he's ridiculous when it comes uh, to certain times there so that would have been nice to get to play around with it uh, just looking over to the side I I don't I really don't think it's needed now getting into the actual details of the the face plate looks good you got the shading in the sclera the white part of the eye you even have the the pupils and the irises the irises with that Michael Bay lens flare you got the nice little Itadori cuts around the eyes the mouth is Okay, it looks good. It's fine. It's it's okay. Everything looks yeah, it's it's there. <laughs> Let's just say it's there. And then also nose looks really good and I like how the lining around the eyes are disconnected right there. So, uh, I do 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 very much like that and the eyebrows are painted on. So, do with it what you will. Okay, okay, all right, UG, you see you coming out here. The mouth looks pretty good. Uh, does not really have any type of uh, differentiation in the mouth. It is just one big open pinkish purplish hole. Oh my. Uh, the eyebrows are painted on, but they do look really good. You got the shading in the eyes, just like the other ones, the Michael Bay lens flare and the irises. You got the Ichidori cut under the eyes and I think it, like, it honestly, it mirrors the anime to where it needs to be, so this is a good faceplay. Honestly, this is going to be what's going on my shelf. If you noticed, his hair is actually pushed back and oh my god, that face really looks so good. Oh, I didn't know it looked that good. Okay, the mouth is my least favorite part. It's just an open smile. I thought it was his lips for a little bit. I was like, what? Why has Sakuna got a red, reddish purple lipstick on? And he doesn't. It's just an open smile there, so it does look good. The curses. 
wild the curse marks on his face i don't know if those are curse marks they're it's short tattoos uh if you want to call it there tattoos on his face looking fantastic the red beanie pupils and iris is looking fantastic as well you got the shading in the eyes just okay this 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 is definitely it now going over here oh, oh okay Look, you see that? You see that extra little eye there? Oh, it's so good. The extra eye is fantastic. If we move them up there, you can see the rest of the detail of the, the tattoos or curse marks or whatever you want to call it on the face there. And it's matching on both sides. It's fan freaking fantastic. Okay, I know I just said the yelling faceplate is going to go on my shelf, but ooh, this one might have to do it. Or... I'll be stupid and buy another Itadori and have a Sukuna. No. Yeah. And you know, Yuji's got to have them Fisty Fisty Cups and he's got the perfect Fisty Fisty Cups. Honestly, the hands, they're rather large compared to what I'm used to reviewing here. The Dragon Ball SH Figure Arts line, I guess, have small hands. This boy. Oh my. And we got the divergent fist effects there. And they're awesome because they fit right on the fist there. Just like a Iron Fist Marvel Legends sort of thing. If you want to compare it to that there. Uh, it does have the blue translucent looking color there. Giving it that nice spirit aura. And you've got two of them there. And of course the one just falls right off there. So we're just not even going to focus on it. Right? Uh, so honestly it does look really good. I would have liked maybe a black flag. Uh, effect there but I don't see that happening and here we have got Sukuna just showing off or Itadori showing off his rare hands and uh, it's, 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 it's like that okay uh, but honestly I think it's good because it could be a blocking hand or also just one of those uh, face palm hands there so not too bad a more of an open palm hand so it's gonna be a little bit like that a little bit of a curvature to it there and I think it's a good hand to maybe like do a uh, hero pose of some sort if uh, Yuji wanted to do that so, so so pretty good and we got that Sakuna hand Ooh, okay that tongue uh, that tongue looks good and also the teeth there the teeth look really good it's actually got a lot of definition and a lot of uh, detail for just the hand there also does it have sharp teeth? I hope it has sharp teeth. Looks like it has some canines on the bottom there. So that's a fantastic effect as well. Yeah. So Yuji Itadori. Ah, uh, you know, honestly, I think he seems like a sizable character, a sizable figure. So he stands at a bow. What is that? Uh, around 15 centimeters there. And then also like right at the six inch mark there. So he seems pretty tall, but I think it's a good tall and he's not made to scale with anyone other than his actual line. But since we have not reviewed anyone from his other actual line, we're just going to show you what he would look like on the shelf with some different, some different series, just to give you an idea of how he looked in that size range. So there you have it. Looks like, uh, I would say, I, ugh, it's hard to say because all of these are, are their own different line there, but this is what it's going to look like. Uh, so we've got, of course, the amazing Yamaguchi's Revoltex, Izuku, Midoriya, uh, SH Fig Arts, Super Saiyan God, uh, Vegeta from the Broly movie. Goodness, it's always a mouthful to say it. And then we've got Best Selection SH Fig Arts Naruto. Uh, not the new one, of course. Uh, God, looking looking at him, he looks the most outdated of, of everyone on this screen here. Even, even the variable action heroes, uh, Luffy, looks better than that Naruto. And of course, Luffy is in his own uh, range over there like uh, none of those none of that line scales with anyone except for their own line there so it makes sense but that is what he looks like with everyone else on on a different uh, scalable playing field in the anime sector so with that being said will Yuji Itadori become the world's number one protagonist of the new age anime and received the coveted got to freaking have it award in the sh figures line of jujutsu kaisen well that was a lot or will he be just a first year blunder 
find out after this short break. Ladies and gentle collectors, are you entertained? I gotta ask this, what are you thinking about SH Figots Yuji Itadori from the Jujutsu Kaisen line that is over a year old? You probably already have an opinion, but thanks for sticking around with me anyways. Me, I am so glad. Actually, like, when I, I'll, I'll tell you a quick story here. When I saw this figure at first, I was like, okay, one, I don't know what that series is. Two, he looks all right. Let me, let me see. I watched the first, like, half of the season. I was like, ho, oh, ho, your boy needs to get me a Yuji Itadori figure. And I went on, I grabbed him real quick, and he's been sitting there ever since. What a sad, sad world I live in. <laughs> but seriously, I'm so glad I picked up this line. I'm so glad that I actually, like, actually gave this line or show a chance here because this is fantastic. Uh, I don't know if Figma is going to be able to outdo uh, SH Fig Arts or Tamashii Nations in the articulation line here because Honestly, like, they're, they're, it's simple. Don't get me wrong, it is a simple, just a normal pose. But I honestly, like, I, I don't see Figma nailing this shot. I don't. <laughs> I really don't. Now, I will say Figma does look good on the faces, and I've the, the, something with the legs. The legs really get me. I'm like, okay, maybe you know what you're doing. But this isn't a review with Figma. This is a review with the Tamashi Nations line. Okay, gripes. Ah, uh, maybe another Sukuna face. Probably not, since we got one with Megami when that's coming down the line. And then, uh, okay, uh, if if we had to take away the side face, like I said, I would have rather had a, a like an angry teeth face, like uh, or a ridiculous silly face for Yuji because he's a he's a silly boy. That's 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 what it is. Everything else, articulation, the, the the accessories there, I love. We got two divergent fist effects. Uh, the faceless look really good. This is a 60 or was a $60 figure at the time of release there. So I think it's a solid release. I don't really see any other things I could ask for it from. And with those face plates that I said are gripes, they're really not gripes. They're just like, I wish it would have came with that. Uh, the, honestly, the figure is amazing. If you, ah, almost gave away the, almost gave it away. So my rating scale is hate it, like it, love it, got, to freaking have it. And look at me. If you love Jujutsu, if you love figures, if you love Itadori, this is, this is a no-brainer. This is an awesome figure. It's it's so good. It's so simple, but it's so good. Like, what are you doing? Got to freaking have it. Yuji, it's a daughter. 
Look at you, getting it. Just the first one out of the line, just coming out here, getting getting the top acc accolades on the channel there. So good job, buddy. Hope the rest of the figures live up to your hype there. So, ooh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. So if you like those shots over there, in between the break, make sure and head on over to LeCompton underscore on Instagram and give them a like, love, follow, whatever you got to do. You know the drill at this point. Stay tuned for next week. We don't know what's coming. You know what's coming because you'll decide what's actually coming right now. Like I said, there is an active poll that is on the channel. Uh, it's Fig Arts Dodoria. We've got Buzz Mod Zenetsu, which will lead to Rengoku. We've got a another Jujutsu line of Gojo, which will lead to Megami, which will lead to Nobara because they're all sitting there and they all need to be reviewed. And then we have got Kong, Ultra Ego Vegeta and ooh, I'm oh man, it's really it's really hard to say. So make sure and vote what you want to see for the next review. Please stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you liked the video and you made it this far, hit that like button. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. It only takes a second and it really helps me out. And why not make it a two for one notification, Dale, and hit that bell right up there. Thank you guys so much for watching this again. And until next time, Compton out.